All right, well, this is great. So now that we have our actual ability to have individual blog posts, we should make a blog detail view. So far, we've been using our just our blog list. So if we jump into that component, we have our blog items here, and we do not have a detail view for each one of these. Like we don't have the description or the publish date. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a new component for the blog detail. So inside of our app, we're gonna make a new folder here and we're gonna do blog dash detail. And just like what we did before, we're gonna make a file called blog dash detail dot module dot JS. And we're gonna do a blog detail dot component dot JS just like we did before. So since we're doing the same thing, I can go ahead and copy the stuff as we did before. That's what I do all the time because it makes it a lot easier. And then instead of blog list, I'm gonna call it blog detail and blog detail, blog detail. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of the extra stuff that we don't need. I'm going to leave blog items in here. All right, and I'm gonna get rid of this and this, there we go. So let's make sure that everything's closed out correctly. Looks like we have this, the controller closed, but it doesn't look like we have anything else closed. So let's add one more curly bracket and parentheses to close off the top. And you can see that by, if you look at that underline, when I go back and forth, there's an underline there showing us that we're closing it off. Okay, good. So. Now that we've got this, let's go ahead and add this to being blog detail. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add into scope. I'll say title equals to, and we'll say blog plus, or sorry, blog space plus root params dot ID. Very good. We'll worry about this other stuff in a second. Comment that out. And we've got our module all set up now. So let's go ahead and go back into our index file. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the blog list and just change it to detail everywhere we need. There we go, got that all saved up. Now back into the app configuration. Oops, I accidentally closed it. I'm gonna do the app configuration as well as the module. I'm gonna actually put these in alphabetical order. So blog detail would come here comma, and then actually I'm gonna update our index file to do the same. Let's be consistent as possible. All right, and now back into our configuration file. We can now work with this and change it from blog list to blog detail. And I'm gonna go ahead and comment out the other one because that is not relevant really, but this one is, so we've got that. And let's refresh in here and go to blog four. We've got an unexpected token. Click on this and we see that we have an extra parentheses in our blog detail component. So let's close that parentheses off. Looks like that should solve our problem. And we don't need that token. We don't need the curly brackets there, or excuse me, the semicolon there. Refresh. And we've got this blog detail not found. So the template's not found now. Good. Fix those little errors there. So let's make that new template now and blog dash detail dot HTML. And I'll just say h1 title h1. And of course the title we called that variable was coming from here. So scope dot title. So we save it, refresh, and there we go. Blog four. And I could say blog 10, oops, or blog 10, blah, 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 whatever. Doesn't matter that that parameter is now coming through and it's handling from this component itself. But what we want is actually the blog items in here. So in the next one, we're actually going to update this to where it's gonna go off of one of these in particular. And then we'll talk about the disadvantages of how this is currently set up. All right, so we will see you guys in the next one.